Welcome back to Rise Entertainment 360. We're still hanging out with Chef Amir, who has yeah. a fabulous display here. I can't wait. You're going to be showing us how to do lump crap Maryland. Maryland. Lump. Maryland. That's right. That's right. That's Mac right. and cheese. You're going to say it. <laughs> yes. Maryland. Yeah, you got Maryland. Right. <laughs> okay, so why do you love this dish? Um, so it's a really popular, fun dish. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I feel like it kind of takes the crab cake and the mac and cheese and puts it all together. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think a lot of times, you know, cooking has become a chore, right? One of the things in the book is yes. we're trying to get people back no. into the fun of cooking again. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's one of the reasons. It's just a really, really fun dish. It's it's okay. super tasty. It's very filling. It's very comforting. It's of course mac and cheese is like comfort food at its yeah. best. Yeah. Where did this American obsession with mac and cheese come from? Oh, that's a good question. You know, it's just a great comfort. So it's a casserole. Mm. Anything that you put cheese in becomes a miracle, right? right. Yes. Green bean casserole, add cheese. <laughs> Spinach right, casserole, right. add cheese. <laughs> I don't know, chicken casserole, add, add cheese, cheese. right? <laughs> um, and so it just, it took, you know, an American classic, which of course was pasta, or actually an Italian classic, which was pasta, uh, and, and we kind of, you know, we kind of funked it up a little bit. Mm. Okay, well, we're okay, gonna so funk it up. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, so, so, so you guys are the chefs today. Uh, okay. Um, and, and a great mac and cheese is really simple. It's not okay. a difficult uh, dish. You can, you know, just grab that white bowl there. Okay. White um, bowl. And so the first thing that we, okay. yeah, and then we'll kind of work this all together. Uh, we've got our pasta. Now it's okay. important in this particular dish that you don't use the traditional elbow noodle. You'll okay. notice that this is What's a cavatappi. So the elbow is just a regular smaller you know, round noodle, they call it the elbow right. because of the shape of it. Um, but the cavatappi noodle is, it's a really dope noodle. It's, it's got <laughs> it's some, dope. It's a dope noodle. Yeah, it's just dope. So if you don't make mac and cheese, cool. make it dope. It's cool, right, right, it's cool, right. it's cool. Uh, okay. and, so, and so it's a really cool noodle. Um, the secret to a great mac and cheese is using a pasta that will hold your cheese sauce, mm. right? Oh, so you don't want it to be slipping off right. and sitting you at the bottom of the pan. Right, you ever had it right, it's just right. like cheese and butter and you're okay. like, something right. right. Um, so the cavatappi is great for that okay. and it's a few different brands that that could be found from. Uh, and so, of course, uh, you'll use your macaroni noodle, your cavatappi you just pasta. boil that in water. Boil that down in water, mm -hmm. and you want to cook it al dente. Al dente is a term that means to kind of slightly undercook it, mm -hmm. because when you go to bake the macaroni and cheese, so that it's not you'll still right, right? Because okay. we all have mushy mac and cheese. But my problem is, I know spaghetti, I can throw it on the cabinet, and if it sticks, it's done. How do I know if this is done or not? Because you can't throw those. Just throw it at the pasta. No, you, you can mess the kitchen up, right? It's <laughs> done. Exactly. Okay. Um, just kind of, you want to bite it. You want it to have okay, a little so snap to it. it. You want to taste it. And okay. so it should just have a little bit of snap to it, which will be your clear indicator that it's ready to go. Amazing. Gotcha. Amazing. Yep. Okay. So what do we do after we boil the macaroni? So once you do that, uh, of course you drain it, strain it, rinse it. You want to add oil to it so that the noodles don't stick together. Um, and you want to take what's called a bechamel. And so a bechamel I know what a bechamel is. is. Oh, I have no shucks. idea. <laughs> I'm French. Uh -oh. I can answer this There the you go. Is it flour it and is. butter? It is. Mixed well, why together? you just it say is. flour and butter? It is. Is that your guy? See what I'm saying? Just say flour and butter. No, darling, we are French. When no, we go French. That's right. If okay. we're going to go, French is the foundation of exactly. culinary. So what's the word again? Bechamel. 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 There you go. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm ready to cook. We Precisely. Are. Now Precisely. We can cook. Precisely. <laughs> okay. And so you take your beige, which we call it for short, okay. uh, and then you add your cheese to it, and it turns it from a beige to a cheese sauce. Ah. And that's the secret to a great mac and cheese. So is that this? What are we, where is so that the beige is, is actually, we kind of work that over. In, okay, our, in, our, in our kitchen there, but okay. um, we've, we've uh, the base again, you'll build from a roof. Flour, okay. butter, really nice consistency. Okay. Add whatever your milk is, 2% milk, whole milk, heavy cream, light cream, whatever direction you're going in. Can you use like an alternative, like a rice milk or an almond milk you as well? You can, that was the next oh, okay. thing I was gonna say. To, to kind of, you know, cut back on some of the calories a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, if you were making a vegan mac and cheese, mm -hmm. you would use vegan butter, okay. right? And then you would use a non-flavored coconut milk or a non-flavored right. okay. almond milk as a substitute. Um, that's really the secret to the mac and cheese, Gosh, the cheese sauce. From this there, we add some egg to it. The egg, egg you just crack um, them, yep, and so in, you drop that right into your them, bowl there, bam, and okay. it, it really just creates a, a sticking agent, if you will, gotcha, it kind gotcha. of, it cooks within it the casserole it and it binds it all together, that's right, the exact word. Right. Uh, and then we've got some panko, we've got our crab meat, of course. Mm. Um, and now, so is there we, a particular type of crab meat you like to use? So or? a lump a lump crab meat is good, mm -hmm. only because it's just gonna give you really nice, amazing, jumbo, juicy, succulent lumps of crab. 
crab in your mac and cheese. Okay. Um, but if you don't want to spend thirty dollars on a can of crab meat, you could always use a claw meat can, which is generally mm. half of the price, but it's still crab meat. You okay. know? Gotcha. Um, but you and definitely. If you were using fresh crab, would you use the darker meat or the, the lighter meat, or it doesn't? You know, matter? either of the two are fine. The lighter okay. meat you want to so like for example, the lighter meat is on top of our mac and cheese oh. with our panko because we want it to kind of give us, you know, that texture. The lighter right. the lighter meat is usually the lump meat. Mm. Um, darker I usually. Who knew there was the a claw. difference? Right, okay. exactly. <laughs> and a little old crab. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> That's that in the leg or the body? Right. right. Did that come from the claw or the head? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Do we have some cutting on the table too? here? Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so parsley is the trick. So we need here. Let's do this. Um, uh, what we use in in the kitchen is called the claw. Okay. And so the claw is the way that you grab something. Like this. Um, yep. Okay. And, cut and this out, Shannon. Well, really chef got him. We got him. We good. Okay. There you go. And then you start like this and go down. Yep. That's the reason the knife has a rocking edge on it. Maybe move the jalapeno out. There you go. We want to get the jalapeno on the Okay. Yep, there you go. And you just want to kind of rock oh. your knife. <laughs> now you're a chef for real, certified. <laughs> Same <laughs> spot. I'm like, there you go. That's what, it looks good on TV that way. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, this does help me I not mean, cut myself. I like point, this. I mean, at this point, I'm full. Yeah, I've so left the dining table. Oh, that's God, a lot I'm of saying work. we can eat. And can then, of course, you know, our parsley is to just give us a really amazing garnish. Oh, uh, you know, oh, just, oh, it oh, takes oh, them back to another level. You can just clean yourself parsley bay. Right. You know, like salt bay? You know what I mean? Bam. Boom. There you go. Oh, there you go. Nice. You just gotta let it roll off the yes. rim. Yeah, it's beautiful. I beautiful. love it. Precisely. <laughs> now, so I do precisely. see dishes. I see two mm -hmm. different yeah. things. Here. Right. So we actually have uh, white cheddar jalapeno cornbread, oh, um, I see and the it's a it's here. a it's a country cornbread okay. dish that may be a little warm there, but oh. it's it's made to not look the greatest, but it'll okay. taste amazing. Uh, and it's got white cheddar cheese in it. It's got some fresh jalapenos, which we actually had. Like said, and so nothing makes the day like a white cheddar jalapeno cornbread. Mm -hmm. And some crab mac and cheese. Oh my God! Can I eat it? And you just cut these I, up I mean, and I put them in there. Look, look yep. at that. And look you just hit those jalapenos. Now with jalapenos, you want to be careful because if okay. you touch that thing once uh -huh. you cut it, and then touch anything else, it takes They're on not that. that oh. Much. Okay, that's really good. Just don't, just don't rub your eye. I'm I just think you thinking. should test it out. Here you go. Oh, I'll let you like, test it out. This would be it's like that chip that challenge. Guys, uh, you know what I'm saying? Go, 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 go. Oh, well, you go. good. Oh, well, you oh, good. You good. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather taste the mac and cheese and Well, how you ain't messing her at all, right? No. I'll be crying the rest of the show. Like, ah, right? I'm like, I can't do it. Right, right, right. It's actually big trouble. No question. Wow. Okay. I don't even need any milk. And it was fresh. I see you have honey here. Did we drizzle the honey? Yes. And so honey butter is the seed secret to here let's just kind of pull this guy here and okay. so our honey butter is the secret to our mac and uh, I'm sorry our cornbread ah. and so you want to just <laughs> lay you a clump of that guy on there oh. wow. and then you so just, just want to drizzle your honey hot, over that it's and it's hot that's cornbread? just just drizzle it right over that cornbread wow. and that's our honey butter that's magic. Oh my God! That's, that's, that's not a drizzle. That's more of a pour. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it. I'm oh, just, do know. it, do it. There it's just a style. You see the right, the flavor. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are making me too hungry. I have my fork. Sweet. I'm ready to try it let's out. Let's do it. Can ready we? To? Let's go. Okay. No let's question. try this out. So we and just see. Yeah, let's grab one of those serving spoons over oh, there, and we'll kind of work with that. Serving spoon. There All you right. go. Will you serve me, chef? I most certainly will. It is my pleasure to do so. Look how nice it cuts into that. And then I'm not gonna. Amazing. I know. You can't smell it at home, but it there. is divine. The aromas oh in the this studio is... right now. Mm. And I'm not going to ask how many calories. Nope, we do this. not ask well, these questions. You know, right? So we weren't worried about it. I don't know if we were focusing on healthy cooking. Oh no, um, no. Just um, good we can do that on another day. There we go. Today <laughs> we wanted to have some fun, <laughs> good. So food. much for okay. this resolution. Right? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, bon appetit. Absolutely enjoy. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really great, and I that like how divine. you can taste the crab. It's not like hidden and right. a hint of it. Yeah. You can see it, yeah. you can taste it, and you absolutely. get a good, nice helping of it. Yeah, it's absolutely. very rich. Mm. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Rich, well, it's, but not overpowering. Right, right. Well, that's, so that's what I kind of talked about. You know, mm. you, you want it to be good and really, really clean on the palate mm. and not like, I, you know, I'm going to need any more. Second, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's the goal. Second, now, slides, fourth. I'm, I'm going to need some cornbread, too. Yeah, well, we need to get into this. Should we clean the rest of the serving up while we're going to break? Well, I don't think I'll say what. 
sure everybody knows it's good. Yeah, let's go. No. And while when you pass it here, I'll taste it. You <laughs> tell us about your restaurant, your business right you here. have in New Jersey. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so we have a meal prep company uh, mm -hmm. called Fresh Chef up. Meal Prep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've kind of uh, simplified the way to be able to serve food to mm. a larger quantity of people. So we pre-prepare the meals and we deliver them to you wherever you oh, are. Wow. And we're in the around New York, the New Jersey. We ship around the country, wow. uh, but we certainly um, deliver it right to your doorstep here in the New York, New Jersey area. So you don't area. even have to think about, you know, nope. how to portion your cuisine. There or you go. Mm. You go right to our website and choose weight look loss. At, look at him. Top. Look at him. Look at him. You go, I got him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to bark. You, oh. <laughs> you said you put some soul and some love into this. I yes, mean, sir. there's a lot oh. of love. Yes, I have yes, never sir. tasted taste cornbread it. like this. Like, so seriously, there's a secret. this is not Should I share the secret? Please. Oh so my the gosh. secret to a killer cornbread, and, mm. my, and my grandmother used to do it, and I didn't understand it, but you add cottage cheese to it. Cottage I taste cheese? It. I can see the cheese. I don't normally like cottage cheese. The I'm a bit hesitant. Oh. I'm telling you, the cottage cheese oh. and the cornbread oh takes it to another level. And the honey like really seriously. sets it up oh and makes it sweet, The honey, the butter. Right? I'm telling you, it takes it to another oh level. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm telling you. Mom. Okay, we need to go to break, but I kind of pegging out. We will be right back with more Rise Entertainment 316. Wonderful. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I love it. I am so glad mm -hmm. that you enjoyed it, no question. Did you know I hate it?